the magistrate judges who are here who have to decide PIA and bail, raise your hand. Is there a charge against this man? And what is it? May I hear from the prosecutor? You know, I'm not sure. I'm going to guess it's relating to trespassing, breaking and entering. <laughs> uh, child labor laws are definitely <laughs> just being kind of creepy. <laughs> And tell me, what evidence do you have against this man? Well, Your Honor, he's, uh, he's got a long history of breaking into every home, uh, eating everybody's cookies. He spends most of the year cooling his heels in the North Pole. It's a lawless country, right? No, no, I don't even know if it's a country, but there's no extradition treaty. No labor laws. He exclusively employs children or small people not sure <laughs> in, uh, sweatshop conditions wow. and on top of that there's some real concerns about espionage he's got <laughs> aliases for every country he's got different disguises and again he's kind of creepy <laughs> miss corrigan what do you say about your client thank your honor Please, AUSA Grinch, <laughs> retread of what we hear every year. And once again, your office, even though we thought that the new U.S. attorney might have greater wisdom, <laughs> has been tricky. You helped me up at the jail last night. They said it was a lockdown. Didn't get out of there after 8 o'clock. The roads are ripped up. Andrea and I had troubles getting here today. We ripped up roads everywhere, but nevertheless, we're here because you, on your own, bumped the calendar up from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Suited up, ready to roll. And we even have the brass of the OCBA here. Dan's here. Larissa's here. We've got everybody out here in support of Santa. So, Your Honor, you now have the opportunity to do the right thing, or your honors. You now have the opportunity to do the right thing. Justice and the world's happiness and joy are at stake. Free Santa, like you have in the past. He's predictable. He leaves and returns. He's he has a stable residence. He and Ms. Cla Mrs. Claus have a stable marriage. He has hundreds of years in, the in his community. He has stable oh, oh, and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> He's here as a judge today. <laughs> 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 the judge's wife. Uh, Welcome, Jack. <laughs> and Mrs. Claus stands by him today. And they have contracts together with Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> and Lexus, you've seen the ads. Billboards and Cokes, cans of Cokes bear his face. Even Starbucks has <laughs> coffee in his name. So as much as AOSA Grinch would say that he comes in and steals those cookies, we have what's marked as exhibit A. It's a note. December 24th. For Santa and his reindeers, enjoy the milk and cookies. Love the children and families of the world. <laughs> is they always find him in, in the same place. He submits to arrest each year without resistance. He knows in advance that they are coming. Judge Carter's warrant is published each year. <laughs> judges, Jacobs. <laughs> A summons would have sufficed. He could have easily come down here, but no, the memorandum of, of direction by AUSA Grinch to all you AS, AUSA softies, Request for summons for Santa denied. <laughs> Seek issuance of warrant signed AOSA Grinch. <laughs> let's talk about what the court must consider. Well, before we get into the 3553 factors, <laughs> um, I want to talk about how this impacts society. Placing Santa in custody for pretrial detention will only feed into the Fox News theory that the government waged a war on Christmas. <laughs> Hundreds of working elves will lose their job and end up homeless. <laughs> Judge Carter, <laughs> that will be even more people you need to order Eric Garcetti and now Mayor Bass <laughs> to find home. <laughs> Attention after the January 6th committee dropped his name. <laughs> and 
to those children, making those poor children think that my client wrote these letters. Flight risk, everyone knows his address. It's the fifth <laughs> <North> pole. <laughs> he has the same address. The U.S. Postal Service does let those letters in. He has mailboxes filled and stuffed with letters. Now you want to talk about danger and flight risk. NORAD keeps an eye on him the entire evening as he leaves the North Pole and circles the globe. The government surveillance is high tech and the government encourages parents and children to monitor the journey on, on TV and the internet. The government surveillance is without warrants. FISA courts must be involved. <laughs> Rudolph's red nose lights up the sky as Santa and his reindeers make their annual journey. Everyone sees them. There's no concealment. He's predictable. He leaves and returns. He's he has a stable residence. He and Ms. Cla Mrs. Claus have a stable marriage. He has hundreds of years in, the, in his community. He has stable oh, employment. Oh, where is Mrs. Claus? <laughs> <laughs> He's here as a Mrs. Claus. <laughs> 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 the judge's wife. Welcome to it. And Mrs. Claus stands by him today. Well, by tradition, all of us get to vote whether we're going to free Santa. So the magistrate judges step up. And before we do that, this originated 40 some years ago in Superior Court just to thank all of the folks who help us every year. Um, Bob, all of you, thank you. Uh, the folks who are just not heard from oftentimes who take such wonderful care of all of us. And Judge Silver, would you come up right here? Judge Slaughter, you're here for goodness sakes. My colleagues are here. Jim, come on up and join me. For Where's moment. Judge Hope? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you judge, we haven't seen him yet. <laughs> so first of all, um, would our secret Santa now take off his wig? <laughs> And you can, no, he'll look creepy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, all of you who are voting to free Santa say yes. Yes. All of you voting to keep Santa in jail say yes. 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 <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful new year. And for all of you, once again, to make us go to the marshal's office, to our clerk's office, to, you know, the maintenance people who have just been amazing this last couple of years. Just a very humble thank you on behalf of all the judges and all of us. So, happy holidays, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 